This game is broken, dude. It is so broken. The last, I kid you not, maybe 12 or 13 games, I joined solo. Wait, let me kill these guys. Get out of here. One above me. Alright, so I joined the last 12 or 13 games solo, and every single game I joined into a late game where I got thrown into a late game that I was losing by at least 100 to 200 points. I kid you not, every single game, either my account is broken or something went wrong in like some secret update that Respawn put out, it has me tilted, I'm not going to lie to you. Every single game, I asked on Twitter if people are experiencing the same thing and people said no, it happens like every 10 games or something or it's happening every other game. It's happening every game for me and <laughs> it's pissing me off. So the way I am getting around it is I'm inviting the network to play with me. I don't know if you guys just realized what I did there. I thought it was pretty cool. I had to face shift, right, and get out of the fight, but since there was nowhere to reposition myself, I used the wall below that fight area, took some cover, enemies had no idea where I was, and then I jumped back up and got the two-piece. Face shift is normally very easy to counter, so the enemy always knows where you're going to reappear or has a, a general idea. So what I like to do is try and confuse them and use the walls around me and make sure I get some height advantage to try and give myself the advantage in the fight. But, like I was saying, I think this game is broken, I keep joining into late games, and the trick that I've been using, or at least the, I think it's gonna work, keep working, is just create a party. So what I wanna do is just continuously invite networks and join games with a full party. Now, the only thing is, when I play with the Purple Army, I normally like to plug my microphone in since I'm on Xbox and interact with you guys. I don't want to invite the Purple Army and not talk to you and ignore you and record at the same time. I thought that'd be weird. I normally record solo. So I decided to just join the Advocate Network, invite randoms. So it's pretty much like I, I joined the game solo, right? I don't know any of these people. But at least it's putting me up against a full party as well, and we're not getting thrown into a late game. It's just such a huge pet peeve of mine recently, just joining a game and seeing that the enemy team already has, like, six titans up, 250 points. I'm just like, oh my god. I have pressure every single game. Then again, looking at the score now, I do have some pressure at the moment, but I at least... I joined the game from the beginning, and if we end up losing, it's because I didn't play well enough. You know what I mean? I'd rather it be that way. So right now, it looks like the the game's pretty close. I don't know what my teammates are doing at the moment, but hopefully they can get their Titans up soon and help me out. Gotta say, though, Scorch right now is feeling very crispy. I'm enjoying the, the Thermite Launcher. I know when I first uploaded my video for trying out the new Scorch or the you know his new gun, the fact that the new flight path is shown. I hated it in the beginning, but now I'm kind of getting used to how the shots work again. I'm getting that muscle memory back of how to do those quick scopes. And I'm hitting shots that I would normally miss about a week ago. So I'm happy about that. They just dropped their first Titan. He's got some da there's some distance on me, so I don't want to push it too much, especially because I I damage myself with those flames. However, we do have a core. Let me see if I can get in close and hit him. Wait, wait. I almost missed that. All right, here we go. Oh, shit, he almost dodged that. I would have been pissed if he dodged it. We, we still got him, though. Get some distance. He's angry now because we did a lot of damage, so he wants to hurt us. They just dropped another Titan over there. All right. There's no reason for me to push that tone on the right because then that Northstar would snipe me. So instead, we're going to take this long-ass route and try and flank them. I don't know how well it's going to go, but we need to be faster than what we are right now because they're about to take the lead back. Teammates, I need you to drop Titans. Please, please, please. All right. I hear a Titan dropping shit. It's not ours, though. It's theirs. All right. Now they have the lead. Hey, little guy. <laughs> the Spectre was giving me that crazy eye. You guys know what I'm talking about. I had to kill him. All right, I don't know where the Titans are. All right, here's one. Oh, this is not good. No. Shit. He threw up that shield at the perfect time, and I ended up flaming myself. All right, they have, uh, they do have the lead now. We got to try and take the Titans out quick. Stop moving, sir. Thank you. They have four Titans. One of my teammates has theirs. That dude just put a battery in. We need to just try and damage them and not die and try and use all my, my mag launcher ammo to just take them out. I don't know if my teammates are helping me much right now, so we gotta we gotta go hard right now, boys. Oh god. Alright, teammate, help me out with that Titan fight. I'll help you as much as I can. Take out this North Star. He has no time to look at us, so at least now we can do some free damage to him. Alright, good, good. They still have the lead, but we're looking better now. It's Two of my teammates are ready to drop their Titans. Hopefully, they do it right now. And I have my Titan again. All right. Scorch, I need you to help me out. We need to make this comeback. You see, like, there's pressure going on right now, and I like it, though. It's competitive because I joined it from the very beginning. I just, I absolutely hate joining late games and feeling like I have to pick up the slack. Let's see what we can do here. At least this Titan's weak, so we can 
We should be able to kill this guy. All right, he's ejecting. Oh god, this is a party. Oh my god. Let's get some distance. Let's put some flames on him. Wait, how do we get our core so fast? Holy shit. They must have all like jumped into those flames. Wow. I will take it. They still have a nice lead on us though. I was waiting for him to jump off so I could just punch him in the air. Is that an archer rocket looking at me? All right, we got three more titans left. One. Push me. Touch me. Is that a tone? I can't even tell. Oh my god, they're all here. We got another core. I wish I got a kill out of that, but it's okay. At least we did some damage. Alright, so they took us out, unfortunately. But that core, I think, hit two or three of their titans. So I'm okay with that. I'm totally fine. There's one titan down. This titan's about to go down as well. Alright. We're picking things up. They still have the lead, though. Let's see if we get this gooser. Stop moving. Alright, he jumped. He should not have jumped. I think I would have missed those last few shots, and he would have gotten away safely, but... Since I got him with those first few shots, I think he got scared, he panicked, and then he jumped up and it let it let me get an easy kill. I knew those guys were in the window because they were looking at me, so I decided to just try and hit him from the side. Jesus Christ, I feel like I can't catch my breath in this game. <laughs> I've, I've killed so many people, and we're still losing. This is intense. So much is going on right now. Alright, there's one more in that building, and I hear one below me. I'm gonna wait for him to jump up here. I just don't know where he is. There he is, he's invisible. If I would have challenged that from a bad direction, he might have had the advantage on me, so I just waited for him instead. And we got our, our Titan back, so this is good. And we have the lead. Alright, now I'm feeling better. This is this game is pretty crazy. I have 24 kills. Let's see what we can do. Cease the enemies on my radar there, so we're going to try and get a flank here. I don't really know if it's actually going to be a flank or not. They have no Titans, which is excellent. And we have two. Now it's all about hunting the pilots. Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. I can just punch him. Try and hunt their pilots down as much as possible so that none of them can build their streaks and get their titan back. I mean, eventually they're all going to get titans again, but if you continuously kill pilots, their build meter drops little by little. So we want to delay their titans coming out as much as possible. I heard that guy, so I decided to turn around and punch him. Where is he? Oh, my, my teammate got him. I'm definitely going to farm some reapers now. I need as many points as possible. I don't want them to make this comeback. At least now, though, I feel like I can relax. The beginning of this game just felt so hectic and intense. I just felt so much pressure, and now we have the lead. Little breather room. Oh, shit, there's a guy there. No, I wish I spotted him sooner. All right, let's... He's going to go to the right. No, he's got his Titan. Stop. <laughs> that would have been fantastic if I punched him before he got in. Okay, so what I did right here, a lot of people ask me for tips on Scorch. This is nothing too crazy. No master tip, but I knew the Titan was about to walk backwards because he saw me walking towards him so i decided to put the trap behind him which forced him to walk into my trap and then eat the flame shield his only option is to walk backwards so if you know exactly where their exit routes are just always place a trap there it'll either force them to go another way and hopefully that way is into your flame shield or it'll it'll force them to eat that damage which is you know it's a win-win this reaper i thought i killed you I'm actually glad I decided to go with Scorch this game because I keep running into a bunch of their titans in every single one of these fights. It's never just one-on-one. -on -one. It's always like two or three of them, so Scorch is perfect for these situations. I'm pretty sure there's one to my right as well. They have four titans up. It's the only one. I gotta make sure not to let them gang up on me, even though I'm pretty much in a bad spot. That's an easy... No, no. Fuck. He got his core on me. How many did I hit there? Did I hit like three or four of them? Sometimes I feel like the flame core damage is lackluster, but in reality, it's not. Like, I'm pretty sure I just did a crazy amount of damage to them, and we won the game. I had no idea it was about to end. He's so weak. He's so weak. His shield's got to end soon, right? Oh, my God. How long does that fucking shield last? I thought his shield would go down, and then I could hit him one more time with my mag launcher, and he would die. I read that completely wrong. But regardless, this is a pretty damn good game. Very intense. These are the games that I love, where I feel so much pressure from the very beginning and that I can actually join from the beginning. All right, that's 29 kills. Let's see if we can get 30. That Scorch wrecked my life, man. I thought his shield would have ended a lot sooner than that. He just walked up to me casually like, eh, I'm just going to melt your face off, Iniquity. I don't know where this last kill is. They have four Titans up, so I'm probably going to die. All right, where are the pilots? Where are your friends? Oh, there's one behind me. Pre-fire, pre-fire. Yes, you tried to ruin my 30 piece. Never, sir. That game is so much fun. I'm, I'm actually lucky that I decided to pre-fire there because he would have had the kill. I, I didn't even move when I phase shift. 
So my only option there was to just start shooting and hope to shoot him more than he shot me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. It was nice to go back to my trusty car and going back to Scorch is always a good time. Especially that I'm feeling more confident with the Thermite Launcher. Make sure you guys drop a like for me. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.